Syracuse, New York is located in upstate New York, about four hours north of New York City, and is known for salt, snow, and college life, amongst a myriad of other things. Syracuse is an entertainment and cultural hotspot where you can find museums, art galleries, comedy clubs, theaters, and state fairs. There are plenty of outdoor activities for adventure seekers as well. Syracuse, New York is a wonderful place to visit whether you are alone, with a friend or a partner, or even your family. Here we go. Number 1. Erie Canal Museum One of the best things to do in Syracuse, New York alone is visiting the Erie Canal Museum. Housed in the last remaining Waylock building in America, where canal cargo was once weighed, the museum offers information about the historic Erie Canal. Become enlightened as you walk through several extensive exhibits and learn more about the impact of canal building on the country. There's even a canal boat replica you can step aboard on to truly get a feel for what they were like. Number 2. Destiny USA Located near the Inner Harbor area of the city, Destiny USA is a massive shopping and entertainment complex. This is the fifth largest mall in the United States and regularly sees over 25 million visitors a year. Destiny USA is a perfect place to visit for family fun or serious shoppers. The facility has 250 stores in three distinct sections, a traditional mall with mid and upmarket stores, an outlet mall of famous brands, and an entertainment area with restaurants, a comedy club, and an adventure area complete with an indoor go-kart racetrack and rope walk suspended high above the lower floors. Number 3. Rosamond Gifford Zoo Looking for top vacation spots and fun things to do in Syracuse, New York? Look no further than the Rosamond Gifford Zoo, a must-visit among Syracuse attractions. The zoo, founded in 1914, is a haven for over 700 animals, from mighty lions to bison and red wolves. With 43 acres of outdoor habitats and indoor exhibits showcasing nocturnal creatures, birds, and marine life, the variety here is jaw-dropping. The Rosamond Gifford Zoo is an accredited member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, signifying its exceptional standards in animal care, conservation, and guest experiences. Whether you're a wildlife enthusiast or a family looking for places to go, the Rosamond Gifford Zoo guarantees an engaging experience, unforgettable memories, and a chance to learn about world wildlife conservation. Don't miss the opportunity to mingle with Asian elephants, Humboldt penguins, Amur tigers, and African lions. And while you're here, explore the Conservation Education Center, Jungle Cafe, and Gift Shop. They are all fun stuff to do for adults and children. Number 4. Everson Museum of Art this contemporary building in downtown Syracuse holds within its walls an impressive collection of American art. It was the first museum to devote itself solely to American art and artists, and its collection of sculptures, paintings, video, ceramics, graphics, and photographs contains over 11,000 unique works on permanent display. There are also a wide variety of seasonal and temporary exhibitions which the museum hosts and which rotate on a seasonal basis. The museum, which is open Wednesday through Sunday, offers pay-as-you-wish admission every Wednesday, free admission on the third Thursday of every month, and several other free and family days throughout the year. Number 5. Green Lake State Park Green Lake State Park features two glacial lakes named Round Lake and Green Lake, and they are gorgeous. These lakes are considered meromictic lakes, which means the lakes have multiple layers of water that don't mix. The result is, the lakes have a strong potential for evidence of ancient animal and plant life. Cool, right? The state park has a golf course, pavilions, and campsites, as well as other lodging options. The park has over 20 miles of hiking trails meandering through the 300-year-old growth forest. The most popular trails are the Overlook Trail, Round Lake Trail, Green Lake Trail, and the Vista Trail. Renting boats and bikes, swimming, fishing, and hunting can all be enjoyed during the warmer months, while snowshoeing and cross-country skiing can be enjoyed during the winter months. The park has showers, toilets, food options, and all-terrain wheelchairs available. Number 6. Museum of Science and Technology Full of educational and entertaining exhibits, the Museum of Science and Technology can be found just to the south of Armory Square. With all kinds of hands-on activities, experiments, and an IMAX theater on offer, it makes for a great day out for all of the family. The first interactive science museum to open in upstate New York, its ginormous galleries occupy a distinctive castle-like building that once acted as the city's armory. 
Since 1981, its engaging exhibits have wowed visitors with some sections focusing on geology and paleontology and others on outer space, flight, and the future of technology. On top of watching some cool documentaries and films in its IMAX and seeing a piece of the Berlin Wall outside, you can also gaze up at the stars and sky in its state-of-the-art planetarium. Number 7. The Westcott Theatre A newer theatre than the other on this list, the Westcott was established in 2008. However, the actual building was originally a 1919 cinema. Now it's one of the most celebrated music venues in the region, hosting a huge variety of musicians. You can find all kinds of genres here, from bass nectar to Grace Potter to the Avett Brothers. They have something going on nearly every night of the week, so be sure to check out what's playing when you're in town. While most of the weekday acts are relatively unknown, you'll find a good selection of big names scattered throughout as well. Number 8. Labrador Hollow Boardwalk Located in southern Onondaga County, you'll find the Labrador Hollow unique area. While there are several great spots to visit here, including Tinker's Falls, which is in Cortland County, one of my favorite walks is the Labrador Hollow Boardwalk. This boardwalk is fully handicap accessible and passes through a beautiful forest wetland on the edge of the Labrador Pond. It offers the chance to explore this beautiful part of the Finger Lakes and is perfect for the whole family and just about any ability level. If you are looking for outdoor things to do near Syracuse, New York, this is a spot you shouldn't miss. Number 9. Onondaga Historical Association If you are serious about discovering the best of Syracuse, the Onondaga Historical Association should be at the top of your list. Located in the heart of New York, this private nonprofit museum and research center houses one of the nation's largest regional collections of historical treasures. Immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of Onondaga County's history and heritage, covering everything from people and events to architecture, sports legends, industries, transportation, and recreation. Established in 1862 and officially chartered by the New York State Legislature in 1863, the Onondaga Historical Association has diligently collected and preserved historical, genealogical, scientific, and literary materials related to Onondaga County. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a culture buff, or simply looking for the best things to do in Syracuse, New York, a trip to this location will likely mesmerize you. So if you're in Syracuse and are wondering what to do today, take a trip to the Onondaga Historical Association for an enriching experience that blends culture, heritage, and learning in Syracuse. Number 10. Clinton Square The original center of the city, Clinton Square, is surrounded by loads of stunning 19th century buildings with a massive fountain lying in its middle. Now a public park, it is a popular sightseeing stop with countless festivals and community events also being held here. Throughout its long history, the delightful square has acted as a hugely important crossroads with its development being directly tied to that of Syracuse itself. Once the Erie Canal opened up in 1825, it turned into a heaving marketplace with thousands of sellers and shoppers flocking here each day. Nowadays the square is somewhat quieter unless the Jazz Fest, Oktoberfest, or Christmas festivities are going on. Any other time, you can amble around enjoying all the fine architecture and amazing monuments like those to the soldiers and sailors or Daring Jerry Rescue. Number 11. Salt Museum The first instances of salty, briny springs being reported in Syracuse came from Jesuit missionaries in 1654, and soon after, the city of Syracuse was founded. Salt production in the region grew fast, and Syracuse supplied most of the salt used in the entire United States for most of the 19th century. Even today, Syracuse is sometimes referred to as the Salt City, and the Salt Museum in the neighboring town of Liverpool is in the business of explaining why. Visitors to the Salt Museum can view exhibits and artifacts from the salt industry while learning about its history and impact on the region. The last word. So guys, this was the best list of things to do in Syracuse, New York. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to the city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Syracuse may not seem as glamorous as New York City, but it still packs a punch for curious visitors. The city has theaters, museums, art houses, fairs and music festivals, wildlife parks, nature trails, water sports, wellness centers, wineries, breweries, eateries, and more. Yes! Syracuse offers all these coveted sightseeing attractions at more enticing prices than its famous neighboring cities. It also provides a heady combination of urban excitement and rural adventure. 
So if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world, then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye-bye, see you.